start off, I mean, it's always a tough game against Hopson, Hopkins. I mean, they're only an hour up the road. So um, I think what really helped is our communication and the ball movement. Um, we said after the first couple goals that if, the, if we moved the ball quickly, we were going to get some good looks. This is the fifth straight Big Ten right the title. What has Maryland done and what, what has Kathy Reese done maybe to make this dynasty keep going? Yeah, I mean, I think we just, we compete at practice. I mean, it's not only like game time when we come out here and it's just like a walk in the park. Like it's all week we've, we've ran, we lifted, we have intense practices. So I think that's what really pumps us up to come out and play. Well, always, always good. You know, she's such a great anchor back there. And even tonight when, yeah, the saves may not be, you know, popping up there. A couple of big ones there. We didn't do a great job early on giving her the looks that we would like to you know, put in front of her. But I think, too, it's a lesson for us offensively, too, that we need to be able to execute when we have the ball. So it doesn't matter what happens on the other end of the field. And that's what we did tonight. Coach, you mentioned earlier how early on in the game with Hopkins physicality, some of the players were getting a little bit frustrated on offense. How did you preach to the players to not get frustrated? Because it seemed like in the second half you guys were converting a lot more. We talked about that at halftime. You know, I think there's some things you, you know, you can't control when you go into a game. You can't control, um, you know, the weather. You can't control the fans. You can't control the officials. You can't control the style of play of other teams, what you're seeing or anything out there. But you can control how you respond. You know, we just want to make sure that we're being a first class, um, first class team and, and just focusing on ourselves and focusing on the details and the things that we can control. And I think when we could change our mentality, um, we were we stepped up, you know, all across the board. When you joined this conference five years ago, could you have imagined going on such a run five straight years? Didn't think about it. You know, at that point, too, it's like, okay, you know, that was a big that was a big time in all of our lives here at Maryland when we transitioned from the ACC to the Big Ten. But, you know, you welcome new challenges and, and new opponents to meet on a regular basis. And, um, you again, taking things one game at a time, one season at a time. And, and we've come a long way, you know, to be where we are right now. And um, obviously proud of our success so far, but now we've got a conference tournament that we've got to turn around and prepare for with only a few days rest. Does having a conference tournament take away from Hopkins week since Hopkins is in the conference? Um, does having a conference tournament take away from Hopkins week? Yeah, well, Hopkins week used to be this big thing. Yeah, that's on the Met. We don't have Hopkins week. We're, I mean, I, play, I didn't play Hopkins for years in the ACC. Yeah. So that's been a men's rivalry for years. For us, you know, this is a game that we've recently had and we came back to the Big Ten that we were dropped for a few years in there. So um, it's a very exciting game for the men and, you know, and they'll turn around with that. But for us, it's just another Big Ten opponent. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Terp Talk welcomes nonprofit services as a new sponsor. NPS has the services to make your nonprofit shine. And on top of that, NPS is certified by Nano as a capacity building enterprise to drive your development further and faster. You can reach NPS at 877 797 8776 or on the web at npsbusiness.com. Nonprofit services. We make your nonprofit work. Thanks for being a sponsor of Turp Talk. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. Nick, your best six goals from the Maryland shirt. How can you say an influence from a player like Jen has helped you develop your own team? I think Jen's such a great leader on our field, off the field. Um, she pushes us every day. She's such a great talent for this team. Um, even though she was in a face guard today, she found ways to get open and she created lanes for us and we were able to use that off of her. Is that an added attention to her kind of help you kind of get in a mindset where well, I have to go in and score now? I think a little bit and I just think it opens everybody else up too. Obviously taking away Jen, she's a big part of our team but we have so many threats on the offense it just it's hard to stop just one of us. Right, and Erica, what have you kind of been working on individually to become a more consistent scoring threat for this team? I think for me it's just confidence. I think coming into the year just on a new team, it's just hard to kind of adjust and get used to everything. But as the season goes on, I feel a lot more comfortable on the team and knowing my role and things like that. So I think just confidence. 
Uh, though I know you miss your home down at the lacrosse and field hockey center, but how great has it been playing these double headers with the men, with a bigger crowd and everything? I think it's great for the sport of lacrosse, especially women's lacrosse too. Obviously the men get so many people out and be able to get fans to come to our games and watch women's lacrosse and hopefully grow it. So I think it's awesome being able to play the double headers with the men's. America, each of the past three games you've scored at least four goals. Have you noticed something change in the past three games or has it just been the way you've been going all season? I think again, I like confidence. Um, my confidence is building, getting used to everybody around me. Um, I think everybody else is also getting used to me as well. Um, and we're, everybody's creating lanes for each other and it's just making my job easier and everybody else's job easier. Speaking of those lanes, what is your focus when you get the ball as people chasing you and staring at the goalie? Where do your eyes go? Um, obviously I'm going right to net, but if they shut me off and I'm going to look for people cutting through. Um, but you want to drive hard to net, it's hard to slow somebody down when they're going hard to net, so that's always my goal. Sorry, I think it's just the talent. We're such a talented group this year, and you can see it from Meg T in goal to defense, midfield, offense, Callie on the draw. Like, everywhere is just so strong. It's just so hard to, like, stop all of us. Um, we're just a talented group, and it's exciting going forward into Big Tens and NCAAs. So what's it mean to, to have that T-shirt on that says champions? What's it mean to you? <laughs> Obviously, it's a great feeling. We've worked so hard all year um, on and off the field. Um, Putting into in the work and being able to come out with the regular season is awesome, but we have a lot to going forward. We still have Big Tens and obviously national championship in mind as well. Erica, you guys went six of thirteen on three positions.